Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. I would love it if you would subscribe if you like the content and give this video a thumbs up. So today I'm going to be sharing my Coco Daisy setup in my B6 Slim for January. Normally I do this a little earlier, but with the holidays and everything going on, just a busy end of year time, I, I didn't get it done early. So it's here now. So let me share a couple little extra things before I actually get in here that I decided to make um, with the items in the Coco Daisy kit. I get the um, Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit and the Planner Add-on. I changed it up so I had to remember what I switched to. So I made this adorable little washi tape holder and these two and these outer two are from the um, Coco Daisy kits for January and this was in December's kit and I thought all of that just fit perfectly in there. So that is one thing that I made. Very cute, very sturdy. And this paper is a uh, paper I printed off by Digitals by Row. And then there were these adorable little file folders in the kit. And I, I don't do memory keeping, so there wasn't, you know, anything I needed to stick them to a page to put cute photos in and stuff like that. So I made a little miniature caddy to hold them in. And this is just from some of the Coco Daisy packaging. And then I put all the little die cuts in there. So like I put all the little tags in one, just decor in one. So very cute. I love little miniature things. So that was, this was fun. And since it's pretty like non-specific holiday I think I can, you know, I can just use this all winter. I mean, there's a winter look to the packaging, but I could always remake that and just continue to use this through the months. So I made that. Okay. So this little item here is something that I make for my TN strings. It is felt and then it has a Velcro closure and a magnet on it which like is really strong. There we go. And then I just put the little buttons that you get in the classified kit, which if anyone gets these and you don't want them from Jan I like I need January's, but going forward, um, leave me a comment down below. I would love to purchase those from you. I don't get that kit anymore. And I really do like this little, I like to pull on this to open my traveler's notebook. So the notebook itself that I'm using this month is uh, B6 Slim, like I said, but this is from Chic Sparrow, and this is a navy blue. This is the uh, Vincent from the Artist Collection, and I, I'll talk about this in a minute, have changed some things up with just the spine, but it is gorgeous, and I love it. It's pretty floppy and textured, like wrinkly textured. And I have altered the spine a bit. So it comes with a large pocket here. You got cascading pockets here. So I just did, this is a piece of packaging from the Coco Daisy kit. Um, these two items are, I don't remember where I've got them from because I've had them forever. This little clip was in the kit and then I just have it clip to a scrap piece of paper. My, this first insert is my like brain dump, messy list, whatever, catch all notebook. So I just cut a piece of the paper and slipped it into my, this little plastic um, cover is also from Chic Sparrow. I will have um, a link down below. It is an affiliate link. So I will make a little bit of um, 
commission from your purchase. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, Chic Sparrow is a wonderful company, so I'm sure you'll find um, there's stamps, there's these clear covers, there's traveler's notebooks, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. But these clear covers are also from there, and they have this pocket. So I just always cut a piece of paper and slip it in there and change it out every month. This was a rub-on from um, either one of the kits that I got. Both of them had rub-ons in them, so I'm not sure which is which came from which. Sorry for that. I should have paid attention. And then this card also came in um, the kits, but this is from December, I believe. And I thought it just kind of went well with the new year. This is a Digitals by Row. Um, I printed this, and, like I shrank it down to fit on the front of my notebook and I just leave it kind of covering. I think there's a saying under here that I just put it on there with washi tape, but I just covered that up with that. And then, like I said, my messy notes are in there. Then for the back, I just have a piece of scrap of paper that I had and this cute card from Paper Echoes that I got in an order and I just thought that was really cute, so I wanted to use it with the snow and the colors. So this is another um, one of those clear covers. I don't have anything in this one. I just kind of use it to protect my notebook. And then this is the Traveler's Notebook, um, the simple dory that you get in the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit. And I just cut it a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom to make it work for a B6 Slim. If you are a personal, like personal rings user, you would really like this size if you want to try a traveler's notebook. This is about the size of a personal insert, but like if you had to punch holes in here, then you're gonna take up that space. So this gives you more room to write and it's just perfect for me. It's just enough. It's very nice like to carry in the hand. So perfect size for me. So what I did was this was like a card that came in the memory keeping kit that I also just cut down. And then I took some of those like vellum, these guys, I put these on the front of the cover and I just cut one in half and put it on the edge. I thought that just gave it some interest. And then I used some of the little um, dots that come in there too, just to also give a little bit of interest on the cover. These are the puffy stickers from the kit. And then on my um, insert or booklet, I just put a piece of clear packing tape on the spine because I, I'm in here a lot and I just do that for a little added protection. On the inside, this paper is a uh, paper that I printed from Digital Spy Row as well as this, which I printed on vellum. And then this guy I just printed on paper. Again, I just thought it went really well with this month's kit, the blue. And then this was perfect with like the the tree line and the moon and the stars in there. And then this I think just looks really beautiful overlaid. And then this is the front of the cover of the dory itself. And then I just use the stamp that come in the kit and put January on there. This is just a note section that I'll have to jot down maybe quick to do or information. Um, just one little note sheet there. Then I have my this month. I do draw this month out. These are mostly, this is the January stamp from the kit. And then this is the a stamp from the kit as well. And these are rub-ons from the kit. I kind of cut them apart and spread the star one out a little bit. The little date stickers are from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. I'll have a link if you're interested for those. They are the perfect size for this calendar every month. So I, I made sure I ordered more to have them. And then these are from the uh, kit as well, the Coco Daisy kit as well, as well as the tabs. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this page yet. 
this is not I put meal plan but it's not really my meal plan it's I write out what we had for dinner like I may change it what I even from what I have planned tonight but I do want to track it so that I can make sure that we're not having the same things over and over and this is just where I plan on writing that out for the month I don't cook on the weekends so I haven't decided what I'm gonna do here either and then these start my daily pages so I use a different planner for my weekly <coughs> excuse me and then I use this every day for daily I stamp these um, added little elements because I really like that about the Coco Daisy um, the Dory booklets but this I this grid paper here I inserted this into the middle of this notebook it just kind of really blends in nicely with with what is already there but I think I'm losing my voice today <coughs> sorry so I um, use the stickers from the kit and then I just stamp in some elements to kind of add some interest to the pages. This is just a clear thick piece of acetate that I put a sticker on to use as both the pencil board and my today marker. And then I just kind of have some of these pre-set up with the stamping and the layout. So the middle section I'll use is my daily area. And then this, I you'll see this from my video last month. I turned the acetate thing where the sticky notes are supposed to go on into just a bookmark. I punched a hole and made a pom-pom for it. And then I used these little metal clips for my kind of finance area. These are stickers from the kit as well as this and then the washi tape. And that's just like where I, this is where my bills are this is a to buy which I need not to have that page what I've purchased will go on here things I'm still waiting on I just got on a sticky note there this is a clip from a Coco Daisy um, kit prior to this month and then this is a different digitals by row vellum I printed on vellum and then I just tipped it in with the washi tape from the kit over this purple page. I just thought that looked pretty. In my currently tab, I use stickers from Mad Hatter Sticker Co. For those, and these elements were already on the page. I didn't stamp those. See, that's where I just try to make it kind of like blend in with what I've stamped in there. So, and then in the back, we have our back page, and then um, I just covered the back again with paper I printed by um, from Digital Spyro. And then this is paper from the kit, but I took a, um, if you can kind of see there, this is pretty thin. This was a chipboard piece, and I just took my craft knife and kind of pried it apart to where I just got this top layer and just adhered it myself because it was kind of bulky for this area, especially when I got the cover over it. So this just made it more slimline and work in there a little better. And then the next thing I have is my calendar and this is from um, a die cut from the kit. And then again, I just slip something in this clear cover from Chic Sparrow so that I can just give a little bit of a layer look. I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep this or if I want to order a like actual like a Jaboon Techo to go in here in the B6 slim size. So I didn't cover it. It's still still under debate. And then in the back is just a folder that I use. I keep sticky notes in. And then when I write things on sticky notes, I just throw them in here, as well as a um, little pocket to slip any notes are things that I've wrote um, to keep track of and I try to check this because I have a habit of writing sticky notes and little notes everywhere and then this is um, a pocket that I just it just slips in the back there and it has three card sections and the little closure here 
slide closure. And this is uh, from Jaboon Tacho Mini right there. And then I just have a trigger list I printed out and then some, um, a little notepad that I tore off. And then my pen is the Sharpie S-Gel. I don't get the pens in the kits anymore. So I, I like the pens in the kits, but I don't really need any more pens. I kind of have my favorites, so I'm, I'm okay just to use what I have. So let's talk about what I did to the spine real quick. This, like I said, is a very floppy leather and I love it, but I wanted a little bit more stability in the spine area. So what I did is this is, you can kind of hear, I love the plastic cutting mats from Dollar Tree. I use them for everything. So this, I just cut down a piece that kind of fit in the middle, like it goes from here to here. And I did punch the center hole in case I didn't like the setup for the strings, but I I do this when I make my homemade Traveler's Notebook insert. Like this is a personal planner from Print Prussian, and I took out the rings because they just come out easily. They're made to do that. And then I this again is that clear mat. And then the strings are laid out like this in here. I just prefer that. I feel like things lay and flow nicer that way. And this didn't hurt anything. It's not attached. It's just sitting in there. And then I put the, the, the string back through and this kind of holds it snug that way. And it just gives that feel of like a structure, a, yes, structured um, spine to it. And I just kind of like that. Um, makes everything like just sit in the notebook really nicely. So yeah, that is my, this clip is also from a previous um, Coco Daisy kit. So that is my January. Um, again, if anybody has this available that they do not uh, plan on using, just drop me a comment down below and we'll get in touch. And I would love to, to grab that if I could, please. Um, if you would like instructions on how I made this, I could maybe do a little video um, next month. I think I'm going to do that again. It's just kind of nice to keep the washies that I'm going to just use for this month in here. So, and then you could line them up on a shelf and just like store them that way too. I have this in a, a larger size that holds, I think I can do three and five. So it's really sturdy. You want to make sure you use good sturdy cardstock. So I printed this on cardstock and just in my printer. So. And that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be doing a video for my 2023 planner lineup. Um, and I think that is all I have planned for now. Oh, I'm going to do more crafty share videos. So if you are one of my ladies that likes to do both crafting and planning, um, I'm going to have some crafty video shares. I signed up for some swaps here recently, so I'm going to share what I made and what I received from those. And I hope you guys have had a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. And thanks so much for watching.